Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper with a quick tip on how to effectively strain a lot of moisture out of canned vegetables. I'm making some pumpkin pie this morning and the recipe calls for 15 ounces? Is it ounces? Yeah, 15 ounces of uh, uh, squashed uh, pumpkin. Now a lot of times you just go to the store, you buy a you know, 15 ounce can and that's the end of it. But I'm going to be using pumpkin that I grew in my garden last year and I've canned using a pressure canner in these reused old Newman salsa jars. Now each one of these seems like they have, it has about maybe seven ounces or so of pumpkin in it. I've, I've been learning that from experience. But it's also mixed with quite a bit of fluid so I need to remove that fluid out of here. And what I've been using to do that is this coffee strainer. Here, I take the coffee strainer, put it in a large funnel, and pumpkin goes in the top and push it out the bottom. Now, I made a video about this earlier where I talked about using the, pump, the, uh, the coffee strainer and then using a large spoon to kind of squish the pumpkin up against the sides. Now, that worked, but I found, I found a better way of doing it. I want to share that with you guys today. So, I'm going to open this thing up and we'll wait for the pot. There we go. So, it's sealed. Doesn't smell horrible. I always cook my stuff after I've canned it just because I don't have 100% faith in my abilities, mostly just because I'm paranoid about everything. That's why I'm a prepper. Um, but this is, gonna be, uh, this is going to be cooked, so it gives me some level of um, feeling of security given the fact that I'm using canning materials that aren't necessarily officially made for being reused and everything. So, uh, but that said, I've had 100% success rate with it. I've never had anything go bad in these, in these uh, non mason jars. So I'm going to put some of this in here. Now I've found that I have the best success when I don't fill it up that much. So I'm just going to put in a couple scoops of this pumpkin material. And then what I'm doing now is actually taking the jar itself, which is about the same size as the, uh, the coffee strainer, and I use this to squish it down. And I found this is a lot more effective. It works a lot quicker than the spoon. So I'm going to take it and just push it down and wow it's all just pouring, pouring out the bottom. So this is working really well. Uh, the one issue you have is that the, the pumpkin kind of comes up along the sides a little bit and you have to kind of take the jar out and just sort of push it back down. But if you do it in small enough quantities it goes pretty well. And what I'm going to be doing with this uh, pumpkin juice at the bottom here is I'm going to be, well I'm already collecting it, I'm going to be saving it and I'm going to use it to make some soup later on because there's a lot of nutrition in the juice that comes out of it. One of the, my favorite things about pumpkins is that they are just a really, really nutritious uh, fruit. They are fruit. And they last, uh, even not preserved, really deeply into the winter. I, I, I have pumpkins downstairs in the, uh, just in my basement that have just been kept in kind of a cool, dry place. And the majority of them have survived the entire winter without, you know, needing to be canned or anything like that. Right now it is uh, mid-March. So pumpkins are a great uh, vegetable or fruit. I, I keep forgetting they're a fruit. <laughs> uh, you know, just, uh, just for the fact that they last so long. But they're super nutritious. We're going to make some delicious pumpkin pie. I'm using this scale to measure everything out. Uh, I think the scale was designed to be as top-heavy as possible. It was the best one that I could find. It didn't use batteries and could measure something up to uh, 32 ounces. Most scales I was finding were like 16 ounce scales or like 10 pound scales. This was a good sort of intermediary one that I found that seems reasonably accurate, but it's, uh, it's so top heavy. Who designs these things? I don't know. So that's it. I hope you find, found this helpful and informative using jars in these works really, really well. Uh, I know that there are special presses that you can get as well. I don't own one of those. I'm in the process of looking for one. A lot of, I found a lot of them that I just don't think are very high quality. I don't, I don't want to buy something that's going to be a piece of junk. So for now, doing it this way. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.